Well, earlier this week, we told you about groundbreaking surgery happening in Massachusetts. A team at Mass General conducted the very first genetically edited pig kidney transplant into a living human. And now physicians around the world are reacting to this first of its kind surgery, including Dr. Sanjay Kilkarni, the director at Yale New Haven Transplant Center. Doctor, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. I'm, um, I'm Dr. Kungar, actually one of the other uh, physicians at Yale. All right. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, I'm wondering what your reaction was hearing the news today or this week. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It, um, it definitely was something that sent shockwaves through the community, and we're so happy to see such a big advance in transplantation, um, not just at another hospital, but just across the world. This has implications for the transplant field in general. So here's a question. Why a pig? And can you walk us through what genetically edited means when it comes <laughs> to a transplant? Sure, absolutely. So a pig in particular, because the ability to genetically modify a pig is something that um, can be done more easily in the lab than perhaps for another um, animal. And what it means to be genetically modified is to change certain genes in that pig so that we as humans, if we were to receive the organ, our immune system would not reject the organ. Or, and also to make sure that this pig is free from illness, or viruses that could help, you know, to hurt a human. Wondering what this means for the future of transplant surgery. That's a great question. And that's something that we're still learning, I think, as this um, becomes more common. What we are wondering is, will this bridge the divide between the gap of the patients who need a transplant and those who can actually receive one? Because if we're able to transplant from pigs, this will mean a huge, um, swath of people who previously couldn't access an organ now can, and that would be amazing for the field. And how are you specifically looking at this moment in time in terms of transplant surgery? Right, so I think um, what we're looking at is saying that it is very exciting and we're hopeful for the future, but that with any new advance, you have to exercise caution and make sure that we don't jump into anything too quickly. Usually when it comes to transplants, there is a long waiting list. And I know you can't you know, reveal the future or what could come, but in terms of maybe giving people more options, how would that open things up for people on that list? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think one of the most important things uh, to know about transplant is that many more people need an organ than can receive an organ because there just aren't enough donors out there. So now if we have xenotransplantation, which is transplant from another animal into a human, we have the ability to have unlimited organs. And so that would mean that if every single person on the list can access an organ, we no longer have people waiting for long periods of time. So it would be amazing. Thank you so much, Dr. Vandana Kungar. Thank you for being here with us from Yale New Haven Transplant Center. Thank you. Lisa.